here at AWFS 2017 in the Titebond booth with Bob Benke, Technical Services Manager for Titebond, to talk about some of the functional issues uh, with Titebond's new quick and thick glue as opposed to other Titebond formulations. Bob? Uh, tell us a little bit more about Quick and Thick Glue. Well, the Quick and Thick is a high solids, um, thick formulation. It's designed for quick tack, quick setup, places where maybe you don't have the ability to clamp, or you want to do a rub joint, or somewhere clamping can be difficult. Mm -hmm. So that's where you want to use that. Um, it would not be designed for something that you, know, you need a long time for gluing. It does set fast. Sure. Now, Quick and Thick is a PVA formulation like type on two and three, correct? It is uh, very similar to that. Uh, the only difference is it's got much higher solids, 60% versus say 45 to 50% for the other glues. Um, so it will dry faster, it sets up faster. There's a lot less water that needs to be absorbed or evaporated before the glue sets. Sure. Well, our viewers have certainly used the blue, red, and green formulations of type bond glues for years. Quick and Thick is a newer product, but let's talk about a joint that can be a challenge for some PVA glues like a miter joint. End grain to end grain coming together is, you know, what's the best type bond glue to use in a situation like that and might it be Quick and Thick? Well, Quick and Thick will work much better in terms of end grain gluing. Uh, the reason is, is a lot of the lower viscosity glues will sometimes find their way down the pores of the, of the uh, wood and end up starving the glue joint. The Quick and Thick was designed not to do that, is to stay in the glue joint and so you don't have to prime the joint with wood glue, let it sit for a while and glue it again. Mm -hmm. So that takes all of that extra work out of the way and maybe some of the, well how long do I leave it uh, in yeah. the joint first. So this, you just glue, put it together, rub the joint a little bit, set it in place and then you can walk away. Uh, 15, 30 seconds from there, it's pretty much set. Wow. You're locked in place, you can move it, start with your next joint. And so in terms of miter joints, no clamping? No clamping okay. if, you, if you don't want to. Now you can, but uh, not. I no longer clamp my miter, miter joints, joints for picture frames. Yeah, what about, set, what, set them on a table. What about a situation where uh, an end user might think, you know, maybe miter joints, maybe a CA glue might be a better solution for a miter joint because it dries so quickly. Is Quick and Thick still a better solution even for a thick formulation CA glue? And the CA glues do bond fast, uh, but the issue with the CA glues is they tend to be a little more on the brittle side. Okay. And what can happen over time as that wood expands and contracts, the, the CA glues don't expand and contract with it. Mm -hmm. And so it can sometimes break those wood fibers and they can come apart. Okay, okay. So the Quick and Thick is a bit up more flexible, allows that expansion contraction to occur with the glue and doesn't put as much stress on the joint. And is it suitable for all wood types? Quick it's suitable thick? for all wood types. Okay, great, great. Now if you get an oily wood, you want to wipe it with acetone, get the oil off the wood so that the water-based glue can wet out that joint a little bit. But yes, absolutely every wood. Is it suitable for outdoor applications or? It will not be suitable for outdoor applications, okay, right. So I mean, it's that's indoor it's glue. an indoor yeah, application. Yeah. Yep. Now it comes in a different bottle shape than what we're, many of us are used to, larger tubular bottles of uh, type on glues. Why the smaller bottle, the squeeze bottle? Well, the small smaller bottle, this glue is very, very thick. And in some cases, if it's in a large bottle, it can be sometimes hard to get it to the to start. So storing it upside down can sometimes help with that. Mm -hmm. um, but And storing it in smaller bottles, the surface area, you lose a lot of glue just because that glue is very thick and wants to stick to it. So this is kind of the optimum bottle for getting the glue out quickly and, and still getting it uh, uh, enough out of the bottle to, to make it uh, cost effective. Are there any other properties about Quick and Thick that we should know about, like is it easy to sand, can you stain over it, those sorts of practical issues too, anything else you'd want to add? Sandability of this is less than um, the other type ons because it's softer and it's it's designed to be that way, so let's say if you're putting molding up. Mm -hmm. um, you no longer have to use nails, you can put the glue along the edge, stick it into place, hold it 15, 20, 15 to 30 seconds mm -hmm. and then walk away. No pin nailing necessary. Mm -hmm. um, however, it's designed to expand and contract as that wood does. The, the molding doesn't expand in the same way. So it's a softer product mm -hmm. to allow for that differential expansion so that it bonds. Now in terms of strength, you're looking about 3,000 PSI for that. 
Type 1 original, about 3,600. Mm -hmm. Type 1, 2, 3,750. And Type 1, 3, up to 4,000. Um, so strength-wise, it's still, I mean, you put that molding in place, and mm -hmm. once it fully dries, you're not going to get it off. Okay. But it's designed to have a little bit of softness to it to allow for flexibility, which doesn't make it the best sanding adhesive. Sure. And what about shelf life of quick and thick versus the other type on formulations? Does it last as long in the bottle? It does. All, all four of them, the quick and thick, type on original, type on two, and type on three, all have a, an official two-year shelf life. Um, but the expected usable life is, can be a little different depending on how the product is stored. At storage room temperature, the reactive adhesives type on two and three will last, be usable for about four to five years. Stored in the refrigerator, I've seen bottles good for 10 years. Mm -hmm. uh, the unreactive products, uh, which would be not used outside, which is the quick and thick and the type on original, um, since they're not reactive, storing at room temperature, I've seen bottles good 10 years. Okay. If they thicken up over time because of loss of moisture, you can always add 5% water to bring them back okay. into okay, usability. Great. That's good to know. And one last thing, you had mentioned off camera, here's a good test for determining whether or not your glue is still good. Uh, right. You know, applying it to scraps and then what? You know, how, what's a good test? Well, the ultimate test, even if your glue is a thousand years old, mm. Take two scrap pieces of wood, glue them together, clamp them overnight, and break them with a hammer. Mm -hmm. If they break wood, that's as strong as you need that glue to be. Mm -hmm. And so, if you're, even if the glue doesn't break wood, but you're hammering it with a hammer and you're denting the wood and mm -hmm. all that, believe me, that glue is going to yeah, be strong. How, how much stronger does it have to be? Yeah, right. yeah, exactly. Well, I think these are some good things to consider with what is a relatively new product for type on quick and thick and can help us make some functional decisions about when we need it and for what purposes that's right great bob thanks for sharing it with appreciate us. it thank you